Jonah Gaming. Uh, my name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. Dynamite, I might the explosive one, Jonas. I'm the man on the sticks. There are so many sticks in here. And we're playing Madden 20. The Yay. 49er Nights. 49er Nights, as always, playing off as only Sim in that D. Did you just use a hard ER when you said that, Jonas? <laughs> What? <laughs> you said the 49er Nights? Niner Nights? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's 49ers. <laughs> don't, be, don't be using a hard, hard ER room. I won't. Ever again. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> no, I'm All right, anyway. <laughs> Sim and the D, whatever playbook I use. Pro, we're in pro the, difficulty. Pro difficulty. You're proficient. Dude, and it's been difficult as far as I'm concerned. Like, yeah, this is, it's, yeah, it's definitely looked difficult. This is definitely some bull S, Jonas. Bull S. Yes. Nice. Uh, Jonas, when was the last time you took a big old throw up? <laughs> took a big old throw up. <laughs> yeah. Last time I was. Oh, look at you splitting the D. Get off of me, sir. Oh my God. Why was there so many boys? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. When was the last time I got I'm not one to from throw From drinking up. or from like... Just from period, man. Just from, from my period? Never. Yes. <laughs> from your period. <laughs> Never happened. All right. Funny enough. Um, When was the last time I got sick? I think like there was... You were throwing... that long ago. Yeah. Within the last couple of years. I, it's been a while though, for sure. Yeah. Le I, okay. For me, last time I threw was probably when I lived in New York. York, and I remember I got food poisoning, or at least I feel like I got oh, food poisoning. Oh, you told me about this. From like some uh, Chinese food that I had ordered. Some green meat. And it was, no, honestly, it was just like, uh, it was bean sprouts. Did you get sick? You got sick. You got. Oh, I did. Did you get, get, did you get sick from that? Or did, you I, just, that, did I throw up from I that? I've thrown up since the night. I remember being up all night. Yeah. No. Now you're talking involuntary throw <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that's that. about it. We've all had a duress of the, you know, the situation. Right, right. I mean, when you got to puke, you got to puke, man. It, yeah. There ain't nothing you can do. So, like, the last time that I've thrown up, like, in public, a handful of times. Really? First off. Yeah. I, once in school when my mom made Spanish rice, and I've, I've told this story before. I don't think so. I told the story. was experimenting with... You know, love her to death, man, but she ain't she ain't no Ramsey. <laughs> so, so a woman made that she called Spanish rice, and I said I didn't feel well the next morning in school. And I got sick walking to the nurse's office, and I passed out. Oh, wow. Where'd she put that damn food, arsenic? I'm not going to lie. I kind of hammed it up a little bit. <laughs> but I <laughs> passed out in the hallway, and then they, like, helped me to the nurses. And then my mom came and got me, and she felt super guilty about the whole thing. Yeah, dude. I would imagine. And whenever I said I felt ill from then on, it was a day off. <laughs> and it was so nice. nice. It was nice. I didn't, like, overuse it, but I knew what I was doing. Yeah, right? And this, like, I'm just not feeling it today. I don't yes. feel good. So there was, like, then, and then there's definitely been, like, a couple parties Especially during the like the house breaking era where I've thrown up, uh, but I remember one party I was drinking blackberry brandy. Oh, did I? I've told the story. I don't know. Maybe. All right. You've I was, talked a lot. I know, dude. I remember one. I had a girlfriend, and uh, I was in bed with her, and then I felt sick. We had both been drinking blackberry brandy. She goes to the bathroom. And she's in there for a long time. And I am just remember, like, laying there with my eyes open, like, man, if I move, I got to throw up. But she's been in the bathroom for, for a absolutely. long time. So I'm like, I wait, like, 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, I can't hold it. I go into the bathroom, and she's hugging the seat, throwing up in the toilet. And I'm like, where can I throw up? So I just fill the entire sink. <laughs> it, uh, like, I think one of the worst feelings in the world is that, like, laying in bed where, like, you're, you're like, okay, just, just no, just, just, please, please no, just, please, I know it, would, no, just no, and you're, you're, like, you're, like, teetering from one side to the other, and you're like, I'm gonna be okay, no, I'm not, like, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be okay, no, I'm not, maybe if I breathe, <laughs> Breathe right. <laughs> Maybe if I just breathe. Yeah, yeah. I just need some oxygen. Yeah, it's uh. When was the last time I got sick from drinking? Or and just I got sick yeah. from drinking since you've lived here. Have you? I, I'm trying to think. I don't. I mean, I don't drink a lot. I have not got sick from drinking since you've lived here. 
<laughs> that's that's actually great. One I time, haven't either. No, I don't. Dr I don't go hard. I don't. Go you know, that the last hard. time I think I got sick from drinking, you. Pro I think you actually. I think encountered me during this, but you didn't know how messed up I was. I went out to the bar with Couchman Pete. Oh, okay. To watch football. Okay. And we sat there way too long and drank way too much. Dude, he goes hard. Yeah. He's yeah. a professional. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. And well, and I go hard, too. Like, and if I get around people that go hard, it's over. But uh, so, like, we went there, and we were going to watch one game. And mm -hmm. we were sitting there drinking, and we watched the game. And he, he ordered his girlfriend at the time food because he was supposed to take her home, like, fries and wings. And then, like, and then the second game started. And I'm like, hey, you want to do a shot real quick before you go? And he was like, yeah, let's do a shot. Next thing we know, the second game is over. <laughs> His girlfriend's food has been sitting there for three hours on the table. I go home. I jump on Destiny. You guys are playing a raid. And I hop into the raid with you. And I am wasted. And I'm just like, hey, God. That sounds and, about right. And then Chach, and Chach is like. Hey, somebody, we're waiting on someone to come in to whatever. And I was like, I'm drunk. And I was like, I was like, okay, I'll let you guys go. And then like, I got, I jumped out and I went and pu puked. Did you? Like, I, wow. it, and it was on beer. I only had like one shot. Like, oh, I drank really? way, and it's weird because that normally doesn't happen. Yeah, it was. I, and it was one quick like boom overdone felt a million times better and like see how sometimes you get sick and it's like I'm dying yeah. and sometimes it's like real quick like boom empty I'm good now and that's what it was yeah. one of, it was one of those yeah 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 sometimes it's like you stay there forever and you feel like you're dying and other times you're just like I just need a quick fix so I I, I often I'll tell people whenever I'm talking about throwing up about the time where uh, Todd's man. Or one of our friends who, who passed away. I'm going to use his real name. I don't care. He deserves his, yeah, his, his, deserves his shine in the afterlife. But, yo, his band was uh, doing, like, uh, they were playing at a bar. And uh, I remember I was, like, trying to be the hype man. I was like, I'm going to be the flavor flay for you MFers, dude. And it was like, it's rock music. It was, like, heavier. Some of it was more melodic. It was good stuff anyway. Do you remember where this was? No, it was Peabody's? I think. Okay. Was I there? I don't you that. may have been, but I remember they started playing some of their heavier stuff and like a small mosh pit started. Right. I think Yellow Snowmen were there too. Oh, so it was like a long time ago. Yeah, this was a long Because that time. band was like, that band ain't been around a long time. <laughs> no. Anyways. These are like all local bands. But uh, I remember started, started drinking early, got into the pit, man, got to the point where I was like, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like in the pit. I'm like, I can't throw up in the pit. Nobody would forgive me. Like, it is bad. I don't even pit that often, Jonas. And I know I it's. I do pit. I don't want to vomit. I, no, <laughs> I'm just saying is that I know it's bad form to vomit in the pit. <laughs> like, that's, come I'd on. say that's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's pretty much a uh, unwritten rule of the pit. So, me. Punch another man in the face? That's okay. Yeah. Vomit? Nah, dog. <laughs> Me, being a gentleman that I am, <laughs> I noticed that there's two ladies sitting at a table, and they have a pitcher of beer that is mostly gone. There was like maybe a quarter glass of beer left in it. So I proceeded to, being a gentleman, fill that pitcher up with vomit, and then set it on the table. Oh, my God. And then I got back in the pit. Wasn't that nice of me, <laughs> Jonas? <laughs> Jonas, tell me I'm a good boy. <laughs> Sure, they loved that night. They probably tell that story too. It goes a little different in their version. <laughs> Dude, I was so messed up, but it was funny. Yeah. It's I funny think, in I don't hindsight. think I've ever puked in public. No, I don't think I've ever. Not I've, even at like school or something. No, I did I've ever puked in a? Oh, one time. Tell it. I went to I went to one of our friends' weddings. Yeah. And we, it was at like a really nice hotel, and I got really messed up. And I went into the bathroom of the hotel, and I was, like, on the floor hugging the toilet. And then one of our other friends, like, somehow stole me a water through, like, this cage in the kitchen. He was like, stole he was like water? I got my hand through, dude. Here you go. And he came in and gave it to me. I was like, you're the best person ever. <laughs> and, uh, and that was good after that. But I've never, like... Not, like, in a public setting. I, I still was in the bathroom. You know, I went to the bathroom oh, and got good. sick. Have I ever got sick in public ever? Yeah, it's it's not it's not a it's not a common thing, but it does happen. I just tend to be the guy who gets home and when it settles, I'm like, oh no. 
Like, when I'm out, I'm usually pretty good. Who knows? Yeah, vomit's bad. Dude. All right, so here's another thing, Jonas, because I've been I've been to a couple parties where I've thrown up. If you're over somebody else's house, yes. what what is the etiquette for for throwing up, Jonas? Do you throw up on the floor? Do you raise your shirt up, Jonas, to try to catch it? Oh, well, I've never had that happen, but I would. Um... Yeah, well, this is why it'd be good to hear a hypothetical account from somebody uh... who it's never happened to. Do you feel like it's good if somebody were to come over here and they had a little too much to drink? Would you prefer them throw up on the floor, or are you going to prefer them to lift the shirt, Jonas? Lift the shirt, I'll give you a shirt. But Jonas. You vomit over my damn rug or my couch or whatever, dude. That's a little different story. All right, how about yourself, though? Are you going to lift your effing shirt? I'm not going to get to the point where I need no, to. No, no, no. You can't give me that. I'm asking uh, you a question. I would probably try to fill the hands first. As much the, as like, the hands is a lost cause, man. That's nothing. That's like <laughs> you can get the dribble before the storm, though. This is like pouring water into a wicker basket, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's never going to work. Oh, my God. So true. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever you heard. Can't. It's like pouring water in a wicker basket. <laughs> you can't do the hands. Yeah, dude. But it, 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 it's one of those things, it's man. Bad. Like, I've never... Held my shirt up. I'll be damned. <laughs> I'm gonna like, hold my shirt up. I don't, I don't up. think that's a thing, but it seems. It, it seems is. Nice. It is a hundred percent a thing. I guarantee hold you. The shirt up, huh? Yeah. I think most people are more apt to try the hands because you try to like hold it in. I don't know, man. It's pretty. Uh, I I can't say I've ever like got sick from something I've eaten. Most of the times I've been sick, it's either been alcohol induced or it's been. Uh, uh, illness induced, where you're just like it's part of like you have a stomach bug. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been ill from like. I guess I must have a pretty strong stomach for the most part. Or you know you just don't like. I always like. It took me a while to learn my limit when it comes to like at least drinking or self induced well, I mean, vomit. Does that? It takes a while before you know. Yeah. So I've never. I try not to get to that point because I made, hate it, dude. Have you ever made anyone else throw up? Uh, I've definitely thrown up and then had somebody else throw up. Yes. There's a story. I went. I took my girlfriend at the time to hang out with some of our friends. I'm sorry. She got real drunk. And she, I mean, she was fine. We had a great time. But like, we're laying in bed, and she was like, she's like "I don't feel good." And I'm like, "Let me go get the trash can for you because I didn't want you puking in my buddy's bedroom." <laughs> and I was like, "So if you need to," and she's like, and she was like, uh, and she was like, "Oh my god." I was kind of like leaning like half over the bed. I reached around and fucking just shoved my finger in her mouth. And she what? Fucking, <laughs> and she puked in the garbage can. What? And she was like, thank you so much for that. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Wait a minute. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. I was drunk too, dude. I don't know why. I would never do that. And I did it. Wait. <laughs> She was so grateful, though. It was awesome. Hold up, fam. Yes, fam. <laughs> You're telling me. You're telling me right now <laughs> that you put your fingers into another human's being mouth and forced them to throw up. <laughs> it wasn't like that. I literally, it was just one, like, quick, like, boop. <laughs> no, it was not a quick it boop. It was, I swear to everything, it was a quick boop. All it took. <laughs> no, you are not gonna downplay this. I did to make me think it was this like this. It was a quick boot. This common everyday occurrence. <laughs> I don't even know what 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 prompted me to want to do this, but it, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I was drunk. She was in pain, dude. I helped her. <laughs> she literally was like, "I can't believe you just did that," but I feel so much better. Thank you. Oh my god, you know, don't ever put your fingers. I in my mouth. I still talk to her till this day. Don't put your fingers in my mouth, man. I will never do that. <laughs> right. We had a sexual relationship, man. Like, it isn't like I would just walk up to anyone and put my finger in their mouth. Yeah, well, don't put, I mean, what? No, just because you've put other things in her mouth doesn't mean you just go <laughs> sticking your fingers in her mouth and he's, uh. uh yeah, but, yeah, she, I mean, she was all right with it because, yeah, we still talk. <laughs> unless, I mean, unless you, you know, all the time you guys were just effing while she was sick. Like, oh, it's all time for sex time. You were... <laughs> <laughs> No, man. It's, I mean, it may, it may happen. No, it's fine, dude. I'm not judging you at all. I'm yeah, just a little are. confused. That's all right, dude. I was helping out, dude. You. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta help people help themselves. Amen. 
Oh my god. Yeah, this has been a vomisode. <laughs> that was the topic I had written down. So I really you. wanted to know about if you had thrown up in more odd places, but unfortunately you got like boring throw up stories. Yeah, I don't have any good puke stories, dude. No. I'm not a puker in general. No, me either. Like I, I feel like I have puked a quite a few times though. In in like uh like houses usually. Not so much outside. Like I, I, I I'm trying to think back if I've ever like puked in a bush and I feel like I have. Like what kind of man would I be if I've never puked in a bush? Uh I puked outside a party on somebody's sidewalk, I felt bad. Okay, yeah. But I was sitting down when I did it and I like just kinda leaned over and was like Whoop. See. One of our friends came and wrapped a blanket around me. It was really nice. Oh, so why are all your stories in with like cute things? <laughs> Stop being cute. She like sat there and like just made me feel better, man. My like, my story was like the bane of toxic masculinity, where I like hand these ladies back like f your fifteen cents worth of beer, and here's a pitcher full of vomit, and yours are like, oh yeah, she thanked me afterwards, and we had a baby. <laughs> we had babies. We had babies afterwards. It was great. <laughs> it was great. It's a good time, yeah, man. <laughs> No, it's fine. That was, yeah, it was, uh, there's been times where I've been really drunk. I've never been blackout drunk, though. No, nah, I can man. drink a lot, though, so it didn't matter. I'm, I mean, I've never been a small man, so, it, like, I can. And see, I'm a lightweight anymore because I really don't drink anymore to the point where, like, now it's, like, if I drink anything. Yeah, I like that, though, man, because I can go and have, like, three whiskeys and have, like, you have a nice little buzz, like exactly, and it's great because I mean you're spending seven to ten dollars per drink anyway, mm -hmm. which is like an entire bottle, three of them, thirty dollars is a whole bottle of whiskey. I mean that's a lot. I mean it could be more than that if you're drinking low end. Yeah, that's true, and I usually do drink low end. <laughs> like the last time I got like when I had that Manhattan. Like we we went to some group with our or some bar with our improv class, and there was an older gentleman. He's like, you know what I really want is a Manhattan. I'm like, that sounds like one of those drinks that like you know Don Draper would <laughs> get after he hit his wife or something. He was like, oh, no, wow. that's straight whiskey. I was like, okay, anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so then I went and got the drink, and I got myself one, and uh, I was effed up, Jonas. I've, whew, sir. Yeah. Let me tell you, oh, here we go, here we go. that was something. That was a new experience for me. It's been a while. Yeah, being drunk. It's a new experience for you. I shouldn't be throwing it, right? I should just be running. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, Joe. You gotta, you gotta tell me these things. I hey, man. I'm letting you. I'm letting you build your own bridge. I appreciate it, but like, it, I don't internalize the tactic, tacticals. Just get the first down, mother fudger. Yeah, because you're, the game's almost over, too. So, Yeah, man. I'm trying to think. What's your drink of choice now? Uh, Okay, so I'm so boring when I go to the bar. I usually just get, uh, what do you call that? Uh, vodka cranberry. So I just vodka and like cranberry. I have seen you drink that in a really long time. Uh, when we went to that one dude's birthday party with the Juggalo guy that I befriended. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had I had him there. I was drinking dude, him there. That was when that well, that was when that girl cockblocked me. <laughs> you can't say that one. <laughs> you can't say cock. <laughs> you can't say that. C, C block. Me. Little Timmy's mom is gonna be appalled that you just called a penis. <laughs> no, dude, it's a phrase. <laughs> she C blocked you. Yeah, she C blocked. Oh yeah, I remember, dude. You were chatting up that one chick and playing Jenga with her. Yeah, dude. And then <laughs> I was fighting, not fighting off, but I was like, I was fighting off other like <laughs> men in the wild that were trying to swoop in too. Yeah, you were. You were on that too. I, I was, I was doing good that night too. Damn yeah, and then her friend just like, do you want to go to another bar now? <laughs> yeah, lonely we ass. <laughs> Why are you mad, fam? 
it's all right. It's all right. You didn't need that anyway. You, you could have had a Snooky. You could have had Snooky. <laughs> you Is that what we're calling? You walked over and, and rolled up on Snooks. On the other one? She on her friends? She had the Snook hair, dude. The fucking... The flip in the front, the big poop. Oh, dude, I don't care. <laughs> I'll smash you with your snooky hair, dude. <laughs> no, man, that was good. Yeah, that was the. Yeah, the, well, you had one that night, but we've been out since then. They had to work for that victory. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All right, that's all the time we have for today's game. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not done that yet. What I said was, please make sure to like and subscribe. I just wanted to reiterate that that's a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. All right, we. Or. Oh.